That nest is definitely um, leaning. It looked to me like a small rock dove, a morning dove. I don't see no visible injuries. He looks like he's in pretty good shape. It's amazing how resilient they are. Now he's going to be taken to our wildlife rehabilitator who will nurse him back to health, feed him, and then set him free. Port St. Lucie animal control officers like Dennis Diacetis work from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. seven days a week. Is anybody on the scene? If there's an animal involved issue after hours, you're asked to call 911 and the on-call animal control officer will respond. Be activated by the cat's weight. A typical day would be uh, citizens of Port St. Lucie calling for uh, loose dogs, injured or sick wildlife. Sometimes um, they have a problem with uh, domestic animals that get loose, as even cats running into their property. There's an ordinance that prohibits dogs and cats from running loose in the city. If they are found loose, they'll be picked up and pounded by our facility and you'll have to pay an impound fee. Usually it's like three to four days we'll hold a dog or cat to see if the owner does claim it. During that time we do check the animal for a microchip. If it does show positive on microchip, we will call that company, give uh, the chip number, and that company does give us information on the owner, address, phone number, and we can return the animal safely. If we don't locate the owner, we check our loss and found log. If it's not in the loss and found log, we'll hold it for a few days. If nobody does claim the cat, then it's sent to Humane Society, put through an aggression test, and then put up for adoption. Any resident who does lose a pet can check uh, the City of Port St. Lucie website, Animal Control Department, you'll see a lost and found um, menu there. Click on that and every day we do update the dogs and cats that are uh, found and put on that website. Animals residing with their owners in Port St. Lucie must be licensed. There are three types of licenses available. Residents can purchase a lifetime license for their pets for just $5. Animals only qualify for the lifetime license if they are spayed or neutered and microchipped. If your pet is not spayed or neutered, you can buy a $15 annual license. If your pet is spayed or neutered but not microchipped, then you can purchase a $5 annual license. There's such an overpopulation of dogs and cats in this country. We're trying to prevent the unwanted uh, birth of dogs and cats working with the Humane Society. Owners can submit an application to have their pets spayed or neutered through Port St. Lucie Animal Control at no cost. The owner will receive a certificate and at that point can contact the Humane Society of St. Lucie County to schedule the surgery. There is a lot of wildlife in the city of Port St. Lucie. The sandhill cranes, they're about the size of a young child. They move very slow uh, into traffic. Also, the gopher tortoise, was, which is protected. Again, we get a lot of tortoises that are struck by vehicles. This is a humane trap. It doesn't hurt the animal. Should you encounter any sick or injured wildlife, you are asked to call animal control. An officer will set a trap and remove the animal. If it's just a nuisance one, you could still call animal control. We'll try to give you protective measures to take on preventing that animal from coming back to your location. We used to at one time trap a nuisance uh, wildlife and just relocate it. They found out that that was spreading diseases and illnesses into other parts of the city. So what they enacted is the nuisance wildlife law. You can no longer trap nuisance wildlife and relocate it in the city. If you do have an animal complaint, then it is in progress. First thing to do is call 911. If it's not in progress, you could call the City of Port St. Lucie Animal Control Department. That number is 871-5042. We'll take that call from there.